We're gonna get started a little bit earlier than usual. We're gonna dive right into it. two big things to do today. One, I wanna get us through some more of the Nutcracker. All right, our adventure continues today. And then for a really good chunk of our class today, I wanna to talk about the sing-along um, and the signs that I'm asking you guys to make. And I'm gonna give you some time to start working on those signs if you have not done them already, okay? so. Um, let's get started. I'm going to sing my hello. Um, if you have questions, I can see that a lot of people are raising their hands already. <clears throat> if you have questions, save them for the end. Um, because like I said, I'm going to give some time to work so I can answer questions then. Okay. So I'm not ignoring you. I just want to make sure that we can get, um, through some of our music and then we'll start talking about the sing along part. Um, and then we'll, I will have time for questions then. All right. So let's start with hello. I'm using my hands. I hope you use your hands and here we go. Hello, boys and girls. Yes, thank you so much. If you remember, last week we had been talking about the Nutcracker. It is um, a wonderful ballet based on a story um, by E.T.A. Hoffman. And the Nutcracker music was written by Peter Tchaikovsky. And if you remember in our adventure already, Mrs. Porter has been taken captive by the Mouse King and we tried to get her out of that crazy green jello by doing some movements to the Nutcracker March. And did we get to the tree pock dance? Does anyone remember? The bum ba lum bum ba dum ba ba bum ba lum bum ba dum ba na no. I'm seeing lots of people going, ah! which must mean that's a no ski. Okay. So we are actually, I'm going to share my screen with you. We're going to get rocking and rolling. I'm super excited. And away we go. Oh, you're right. We did the overture in the March. That's right. All right. Here we go. So after we were done with the March, I luckily escaped. Barely. I barely escaped, but I did. And it says, thanks for your help. I'm off to the land of sweets to find the Nutcracker. Oh man, I hope that I don't get caught. Phew, I made it. Let's go watch some of the Nutcracker's famous dances. Maybe the Nutcracker is there. So this first dance is called the Spanish dance, and I want you to listen to it. I want you to think about what it kind of looks like to you, what makes it Spanish sounding. Um, and then also, do you see the Nutcracker anywhere in here? Here we go. What's going on? It's like it has a mind of its own. All right. Anyway, did anyone see the Nutcracker in the Spanish dance? Nope. All right. Let's see if maybe the Nutcracker has been lurking around in the Arabian dance. Let's see how they're different as well.
Do you guys hear a big difference between the Spanish dance and the Arabian dance? Give me a number one if the Spanish dance was faster. Give me a number two if the Arabian dance was faster. Ooh, I'm seeing kind of split. The Spanish dance, yes, was a little faster. Give me a number one if the Spanish dance was bouncier. Give me a two if the Arabian dance was bouncier. What do you think? I would agree with a lot of people. I would, I would personally say that the Spanish dance was a little bit bouncier, but the Arabian dance might have been a little bit more smooth. Okay, a little bit more smooth. Either way, did you see the Nutcracker in the Arabian dance either? All right, well, we're going to have to keep going to see where this guy's at. I don't know. Have you seen the Nutcracker yet? Maybe if we watch the Chinese tea dance, he'll come. I don't know. All right. We are actually going to not watch the Chinese tea dance. We are going to perform it today. So I want to just have you listen to the music. All right. And I'm going to do um, the Chinese tea dance here. And I want you to watch what I'm doing because you will be doing it soon. So actually, I would like everybody right now, if you have your music, get out your scarf. For me. Okay. Get out your scarf. And if you do not have a scarf with you, you can use a scarf, like a real scarf, like a cold outside scarf. You can use pretty much almost anything, a dish towel, a washcloth, or if you have nothing, maybe you're not at home right now, you can always just use your hand. All right, for sure, either way. So go ahead and grab your scarf for me or whatever your scarf substitute is for today. All right, awesome, I'm seeing people ready to go. <clears throat> and here is what we're doing for the Chinese tea dance. everybody. Here's what I would like you to do now. Get out that same scarf. And at the beginning, I want you to help me by showing me that you know what to do. So at the beginning, when we have that high pitched part at the beginning, right? It's going to be above our heads. But when it gets to the part that goes, we're going to do an X. Bum 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 bum. We're gonna do that two times. Do 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 do. Okay, and then high again. That's the X. Then we're gonna do it down low, and I'm doing it so down low that you really you can see my arm moving. I can tell, but you can't really see my scarf because I'm doing it down towards the ground because it's a lower sound. Okay. Then we'll come back to the X, down to the ground, X, 
And we're just gonna follow that pattern until the very end. And at the very end, you're gonna see me hold up my scarf and I'm gonna start crunching it all together until you can't see it anymore. And at the very, very end of the Chinese tea dance, we open it up like an accordion and let it kind of explode out. Okay, let's give it a try. Here we go. Writing's not that easy, but not sure. Skip ad, yes, please. Get ready, everybody. everybody very very nice we are going to actually stop our nutcracker adventure there you can see that it says they found me quick grab your scarves and distract them with the chinese tea dance we'll review that dance on thursday and continue onto our project onto our adventure all right but for right now i do want to talk to you guys very briefly about our sing-along that we are working on all right so <coughs> excuse me our sing-along, as most of you probably know, um, our pictures for those are going to be due this Wednesday, like in two days. Now, what you might not know is that where, where to find your information. And we talked about it on Thursday, but maybe you weren't here. So a few things you need to know. One, every single person has been assigned a phrase that you need to make a sign using. And you need to use the phrase that has been given to you to create a sign or a poster. Um, and so you are going to be taking that and creating that sign. After you're done, you're going to have a grown up take a picture of you holding your sign. Or if you don't want to hold your sign, you just want to take a picture of it. That's fine too. And you're going to send that picture to me. Oops. You're going to send that picture to me. It can either be on Dojo. It can be um, on through my email address. And all of that information, okay, actually I should share my screen again so you can see it. All of that information is right here, okay, on my um, Google Classroom. And it's the very, very top thing. So I'm in my stream. My very top thing is about our sing-along. So this flyer tells you where to send it and all that kind of stuff. But the part that's really important is these four other files. If you click on your teacher, you will go into a file that tells you what every single person in your classroom is assigned to do for your phrase. Now here's the thing. I have had some people that are turning in things that maybe mm, that maybe are not the cleanest or neatest. It looks uh, like maybe you just wrote it down really, really fast just to get it done. Remember, boys and girls, that when you turn this stuff in, it is going to be part of a video that is going to go out to our entire school. So you want to make sure you have a lot of pride in your work. You want to make sure that everything that you submit, any any picture that you submit to me is your best work. Um, so your eyes, if you are in the picture holding your phrase um, or holding your sign, you need to make sure that your eyeballs are looking at the screen. Maybe you're smiling, you're holding your phrase. I should be able to read what your phrase says without having to zoom in. So it should be nice and bold. Um, and it should definitely look like you didn't um, just scribble it down on a piece of paper really quick and send it in, okay? It needs to be 
kind of neatly done. Um, and it can be on just a piece of white computer paper. Um, but we want to kind of stay away from um, having it maybe in a notebook um, or, like I said, having it where it's really hard to read. So make sure that you have that pride in your work and that you are also looking at the camera, uh, maybe smiling, or if you're only going to take a picture of your um, sign, that's fine if you don't want to be in it. But make sure that if you're going to take a picture of your sign, it's also very, very easy for us to read because I will be using all those pictures um, for our, uh, our video that I'm going to be making. Okay. So with that being said, we have a little bit of time left. I'm going to let you go early so that if there are people that need to maybe start working, like they need a little bit of time right now and they can start coloring or, or they can start making their sign, um, you have time to do that. This also gives us a little bit of time for people that have questions that they can get those questions answered by me today. Um, but remember, it's due on Wednesday. So I need as many people to help with this as possible in order to make it work. Um, if people don't do it, then the video can't happen. And so I really, really want as many people um, to do this as possible. All right. I need it. I need it. I need it. Um, I have been getting some pictures that are absolutely fantastic. So if you've already done yours, thank you. If you know that you're going to be doing it with mom and dad, maybe like later tonight or tomorrow, don't worry if you're not going to work on it right now. Okay. That's totally okay. Um, if you know that you're going to be working on it at another time, or maybe you turned it in already, that's fine too. This is just giving like 10, 15 minutes to people um, maybe who need that extra time. Okay. I do see that I have some, maybe some questions. Can, uh, can our parents write it for us? Absolutely. If you, I don't want them to do the whole thing for you, but if you feel like mom and dad maybe have neater handwriting so that it can really, really be visible, like I can see it real well, I'm okay with mom and dad writing it out. But if you're decorating, I hope that you're decorating part of it too. Um, can I remake mine to the person that asked that? Absolutely. Um, if you feel like maybe you just wrote yours and you didn't like maybe what you submitted, yes, I would love for you to be able to remake yours. Um, what are we drawing? You are going to be writing the phrase that is assigned to you. And it's just, like I said, on that Google classroom, um, it's, you're gonna to have to take a look at who your teacher is. Uh, actually on, when you go in there, if you click on who your teacher is, you'll find your name and then what your phrase is from there. Um, yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Oh, do we have to sing our line? No way, Jose. You're just holding it. You're just holding it and I'm going to have like a karaoke track over top of all of us so that we have something to sing along with. But you guys are like the words, even though, because we, we, we're not all going to be together to sing. So no, you, there's no singing involved until after we're all done. Right now you're just holding that sign for me. Great question. Um, will you get to see the video? Absolutely. I'm going to be sending it out to everybody and we're going to be putting it on YouTube so everybody in the whole world can see it. Um, can you write the words in Sharpie? Absolutely. Um, we are not doing announcements to the class right now. Yes, you may absolutely color in it. All right. It says, can we color inside of it and make um, decorations? Yes, you absolutely may. Um, all right. So I'm going to say goodbye. You guys can say goodbye. And if you have extra questions, you can stay on. But otherwise, you guys can go. Me first, then you. Goodbye, boys and girls. All right, everyone. Like I said, if you are done, you don't have any questions, you can go. If you would like to ask a few questions, you can stay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye, everybody.